Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. So for today's video, I am going to be bringing you a pack and prep with me for holiday. It's very, very different to the usual content that I do on my channel. It's a lot of like vlogs, sort of day in the life, a lot of fitness and work related stuff. But this is just totally like a timeout video. I'm going on holiday for 10 days. I'm going to Dubai. Fingers crossed because I still have my PCR test. I mean, I just feel like you can't trust you're going anywhere at the moment, but Fingers crossed by the time this video goes up, I will be in Dubai living my best life. But I'm actually going with my family. Aaron's out there at the moment. He comes home on Wednesday and then I fly out on Thursday. The reason why he's not coming with us is because he already went with his friends and he can't take so much time out of his business, basically. He needs to be there and sort of at the forefront of everything so he can't afford to take three weeks off in a row. Anyway, besides the point, I have a lot of prep to do. Everything's a little bit crusty. I'll be honest. I have packing to do. I need to sort out my hair. I need to dye my hair, which I don't even know if I'm going to film because honestly, it is like a crime scene when I dye my hair. It's horrific. And then, yeah, I just have like those little pamper things to do. And like, I'm on my own this week and I thought, I'm getting excited for holiday. I'm getting ready. I'm packing. I'm getting all pampered and prepped. Why am I doing this on my own? So I might as well do it with you guys. I might as well bring you guys along. Throughout the week, um, it's going to be a bit of like here, there and everywhere because obviously I am working at the same time. I think it would be fun to bring you guys along with me, get excited with me. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog when I'm there. We're there for 10 days so I don't want to do like a big fat vlog for the whole trip because I feel like it would just be very samey. The current situation, I have brought my big suitcase down from the attic which was a mission and I've kind of like sorted out some clothes I want to take but... Honestly, I have, I think I have this problem every time I go away on holiday. Either I don't like what I had worn on holiday previously, like my fashion and style just totally changes, or the stuff that I had previously doesn't fit me anymore. And I have that issue with a lot of the trousers that I bought for my pro for when I went to Crete. That was literally like three months ago. I've ordered a few more bits, which I will show you when they come. They're actually meant to be coming today. Yeah, so I've got that and I went toiletry shopping on Saturday. Do you relate that toiletry shopping before holiday is like the most exciting thing ever? So yeah, should be fun. I'm excited to take you along with me. This is the current situation. Um, I've kind of tried tucking it away under my desk. Excuse my extension needs. I have like all my camera equipment charging. Yeah, I've tried to hold off packing just a little bit this time round because honestly, I usually pack like five to seven days before I actually leave. Um, and that's just excessive. Good morning everyone. Excuse the sheer state of me. I'm just trying to get ready because I need to go to the gym, I need to do some filming and I've got so much stuff to do today. I thought I would show you some of the bits I got in my pretty little thing delivery. I didn't get the order last night and I tried on this, like, what is this material called? Is it like plie? Plisse. Plis? It didn't fit, the trousers are a size eight and I don't know who I'm kidding, but no size eight is getting over my hip. That's going back, unfortunately. So first of all, I've got this little bag. It's actually really cute. I thought it was so much smaller, but she's rather large. I also picked up an outfit that would be a little bit more dressy because obviously we are staying like 20 minutes from central Dubai, but I think we probably will go in there a few times or even just to get dressy in the hotel. Do you know what I mean? Like, I never dress up. So I got this, I'm gonna try it on. This is the, um, this is the shape, line, contrast, knit, split, side, bodycon skirt and top matching set. I then picked up these um, beach trousers, but I'm not going to put them on because they're a bit see-through and obviously they're beach trousers to be wearing with like a bikini. Love them. I also needed some like basic shorts to wear during the day. These are a bit like boxes, I won't lie. I don't know how I feel about these. Just with like a t-shirt and a crop just to wear like during the day. Hmm. I also got this top and now I have this in white but for some reason it really looks like a sports bra and then I also got these cargo trousers I am obsessed with cargos I'm more of a like trousers and nice top kind of girl not jeans get me out of jeans these ones obviously are an elasticated waistband as well they're nice I got them in 
a size 12 though, like I'm usually size 10 in bottoms, but I thought I don't want it to like cling to my hips and like, you know what I mean? So I got a 12, I'm actually so happy. And also the length goes right down to my ankle. So these are quite nice. They're like a bluey color. Um, they don't have any pockets, but they do have pockets here. So maybe I'm just being fussy. I like these. Last but not least, I got another pair of trousers. Now these are a little bit different. I absolutely love like the suit trouser look with like trainers. So I got these. I think I got these in a size 10. Yeah, so see how they fit. Ooh, I like these. I can't really see, like I've got really bad eyesight, long distance wise, and I'm just looking in the viewfinder, but they feel nice. I like these, what are these? These are dark khaki oversized turn up hem straight leg trouser. I feel like, again, these would look nice with my dunks, like just a really dressed down outfit. Very nice. I need to finish my bagel. About that. How did I forget about my bagel? Yeah, I need to get my toes done. I'm not gonna fuss with a pedicure, like the full Monty. I'm just gonna get gel. I don't think I'm gonna show you my feet if I'm being honest. I think that is a bit excessive and not the kind of content I strive to produce. So my very, very sad and sorry excuse of the day of pampering myself and getting ready and doing all of the things that I wanted to do hasn't quite gone to plan. It's now gone five o'clock. I've just been working all day, like editing, and I'm only just getting to the point where I'm now laying out all the clothes and stuff that I want to take. So I have a big bag here full of toiletries, like all the essentials. I've got my Olaplex in there um, because I want to really, really prioritise looking after my hair on this holiday. And then I've just got like my sun creams and all that good stuff. I'm also sharing my toiletries with my sister as well. So I've got enough for the both of us for 10 days. Okay, so this is kind of where I'm at. I have my bikinis here. It looks like quite a lot. And to be honest, it is. Oh, obviously like they don't weigh anything, but if I run out of space, I'll cut them down a little bit. Um, and then I have my active wear here. I have a couple more of the effortless shorts to go in here because they're actually currently in the washing machine. Um, and I ha also have some bits drying as well, which I'll add to this. Here I have, sort of like my beach wear so i've got those trousers i showed you earlier a few over shirts like can you tell i like stripes um and i have a couple of beach dresses a sarong another beach dress and then i have this shirt as well i feel like i love the color of it but i just don't know i don't know if it's necessary and then a white one and then here i have like evening wear and I just don't think there's enough. Like, I've got a dress that co ward, three pairs of trousers, a skirt, two like basic dresses, and then a long maxi dress. And then here I just have loads of tops. And then here I have like pajama sort of loungy wear. And I have my book I'm taking with me. It's Start With Why by Simon Sinek. So I'm taking that to read on holiday. I'll probably get another one when I'm out there if I finish it. Um, my card reader, <laughs> just in case. Um, and then I have my sunglasses as well. Here I have shorts. So those woven shorts I showed you earlier, just some little crochet ones, some flowy ones, and then just some like chill loungy ones and then i have my hair stuff um, and then all my toiletries and my two perfumes to take on holiday this another 13 is my like holy grail perfume i've used it for years now i absolutely love it i wear it on its own but then i'm also taking my burberry perfume as well because i can mix it with it and it smells really nice and burberry is like more of a sweeter summery scent um, and then i also oh my goodness this stuff if i could like get you to smell this through the camera honestly it's just the most amazing after sun cream it's so moisturizing and it just oh, it just smells like holiday and then i have some bags so i have a little like shoulder bum bag crossbody bag whatever you want to call it just for like more casual days if we're going out anywhere on a little excursion and then i have this little white bag a little black bag and then obviously this creamy yellowy bag that i showed you earlier shoes i don't know what's going on with shoes there's an awful lot there um, but I'm going to try and fit them all because I'm thinking like evening flats, evening heels, if I want to wear heels. I've got some like nice trainers if I want to trainers, trainers to training because I can't train in these and these aren't like nice to wear out. 
two pairs of sliders and then these like towel-y green shoes which are just a little bit different and could go with some of my cute beach wearing bikinis. I actually box dye my hair, don't recommend it because especially if you're like near on black box dyeing it you will never ever get it out. Not that I want to, so if you're gonna box dye it, you have to commit to it for the long run. But I am fully committed to the dark hair. This was never actually my intention. When I was like dark blonde, light brown, my intention was to just go to a slightly darker shade of brown. Um, and I used this hair dye and it turned my hair black, so. But it's a good job, I like it. Get the nice and easy box dye by Clairol in shade 79, dark brown. Um, I actually love this hair dye, it makes my hair so so glossy and I love the conditioner that comes in it as well. I'm going to give this a go and come back to you when my hair is looking a little more fresh. Update, my body is absolutely covered in hair dye um, because for some reason I chose not to wear a long sleeve while doing this so that's great. My back, my arms, everything is covered so that's probably going to be there for like a day or two. I've now got to leave this in my hair for 40 minutes, I'm actually going to try and clean up whatever is dripping and try not to get my flat covered in black hair dye. I actually can't wait till it's done. I hate this part. My light in my office is so yellow and this is just really washing me out. Hair's done. It's looking shiny. I'm actually going to derma blade. So it's like a little razor and I like go over and get all the peach fuzz on my face. I don't do it very often. I do it like every six to eight weeks. However, it really just like evens up my complexion and obviously removes any dead skin cells, which is obviously good because I'm going on holiday. I literally just go over all my face and then I also shape up the top of my brows if need be as well. Don't mind the hair dye that has kind of transferred onto my face as well. I'm gonna do my brows. This is a brand new brow tint. I usually use the Eyelure one, but I just got this on next day delivery on Amazon. And it's the Schwarzkopf. I don't know how to say that. And it's just the brow tint in dark brown. So one gram of color cream. I don't know what a gram is. With 10 drops of developer lotion. Mix well. Leave for five to 10 minutes. <laughs> on it's still looking pretty white maybe it looks a bit darker i'm gonna leave that for five to ten minutes apparently and hopefully i still have eyebrow hairs <laughs> okay brows done i actually really like the color i feel like they match my hair a little bit better toes done brows done face done hair done we're making moves. So next, and I think last, I am doing a lash lift. I do my own lash lift too. I've done this once before and it actually works so, so well. I did it for when I went to Crete. And this is another just kit from Amazon. Um, this is what it looks like. It's relatively easy. I mean, it's a bit difficult to get the pad stuck down. Um, but yeah, again, go and get this done professionally. They're like professionals for a reason. But because I'm so last minute on absolutely everything, I have one of these in my drawer. And hence, going away, I didn't book anything. So here I am again doing it myself. So in the box, you get these lift pads, which are the little plastic things that you stick on your lash line to which the lashes curl over. This is driving me absolutely insane. Um, it's going well. Okay, the lashes are all stuck up, what's next? The instructions on this kit just says to apply it, but I have seen many a video where they say to Okay, I've just applied the perm solution and then now I take a piece of cling film. I look so ridiculous. Oh, and I put it over the lashes um, for eight minutes. 
Okay, I just took the plastic off. I now have to wipe off the perm solution. Okay, now I apply the fixation stuff. Please don't take this as an opportunity or a sign for you to do this. I can't emphasize that enough. Quite cute, it looks like blue eyeshadow. Maybe I'll try it. I absolutely would not suit blue eyeshadow. I just put the developer gel on. So that's made it go black, which is quite cool. Okay, they're done. Can you see? I'm happy with that. That actually went a lot better than the first time I did this. So hair done, brows done, lashes done, face done, and it's a lot less red now, so it feels a lot better. the next morning i'm so incredibly tired what time is it like quarter to nine yeah it's 20 to nine aaron's actually on his way home from the airport right now um i'm gonna go and get my nails done and infilled they're not i mean they they grow really quick i only had them done two weeks ago but my friend abby who does them kindly fitted me in last minute to get them sort of infilled and redone before i go to dubai so i'm gonna go and get them done at half nine so i'm literally gonna have like 10 minutes to see our room before i go because then i have my pcr test i actually got to bed last night at like half one because i packed my suitcase obviously did whatever the hell i did to my face and my hair and that took long enough in itself my eyelashes i'm really happy with them actually like they came out really well i feel like they came out a bit better than they did when I went to Crete. So yeah, I don't have any mascara on them or anything. I literally have to leave them for like 24 to 48 hours, like totally bare. So yeah, you would have seen last night, I packed my suitcase. It is looking awfully full and I haven't weighed it yet. I have 30 kg, which is quite a lot. And for 30 kg, you probably need a bit of a bigger suitcase, but this is all I have. It's looking from the top, it don't look that bad, but from the side, like, how is that going to shut? So I'm going to wear my Honor Active Sage joggers for the airport outfit with my slides from Pretty Little Thing. All my slides, by the way, are from Pretty Little Thing. I get asked all the time where they're from. Super, super comfortable. But I'm definitely going to have to go through all of this, potentially, because how is that going to shut? So I've just got my nails done. Nice, simple little French literally the same as what i had but just an infill i absolutely love a natural nail my friend abby does these i'll leave her um instagram in the description because she has like the best nail design inspo and obviously if you're in the southeast area she's like the go-to girl for all your nail stuff so i'm all prepped i'm ready i'm feeling good i feel a little bit pale but i'm going on holiday and we'll like sort that bit out hello Hi, Hello. Did you pay, mate? Did you pay already, Mix or not? No, not yet. It says please pay on arrival. Shall I go and pay now? I guess so, yeah. I don't, I don't know what it is. Whatever it says. It's so no weird. I've never paid to sit in a supermarket. I've just pulled up into town. Actually, I say into town. It's 40 minutes away from where I live, but it's near where my family live because we're all going for our PCR tests now. I've just parked in Sainsbury's and I think I have to pay to park here. And it's literally just across the road, so... I'm gonna go and figure that out. Fingers crossed I get my results soon and obviously fingers crossed they're negative so I can actually go and all of this was for something. Hello everyone, 
as you can see, I am again home. Um, however, we are two weeks later. I have got a slight tan. I am back from Dubai. Um, the world's worst YouTuber or YouTuber in the making perhaps goes to me, um, but we'll take it. But regardless, I'm actually here closing off this video. I totally, totally forgot to finish this video before I went. I think the last clip I filmed was when I went to go get my PCR test and I literally went home, packed up my bags and was up early the next morning to catch my flight. But I had the nicest, nicest trip. I really, really enjoyed filming and editing this video. It was something different and it was great fun. Um, and I'd love to do more videos like this in the future. Maybe like sort of less fitness related ones, more just chill, get to know me, get to know my chaotic life and my completely disorganized life. I didn't film any vlogs when I was in Dubai. I was literally just there having the nicest time with my family and it just... You know, we just super chilled out. We did a few nice days out and stuff. Um, but other than that, we was in an all-inclusive hotel. When me and Aaron go on holiday together, it's very, very funny and there's a lot to film and stuff like that. But this was just total chill vibes um, and almost a bit of time out for me and my loved ones. So no Dubai vlogs. However, I do have some more trips coming up this year. So don't worry, the travel vlogs will be back with Greenie as well, Aaron, because obviously we just have great fun together and he's blooming hilarious but i really really did hope that you did enjoy this video if you did leave a thumbs up down below comment down below as well if you do enjoy these different types of videos as well um you know and obviously just don't do half the stuff that i was doing to my face i mean i was very lucky and i got away with it but just again another disclaimer for the millionth time just get a professional to do it if you aren't subscribed already don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications to see more videos from me i have a very very exciting video coming later this week beginning of next week depending on certain things um so make sure you stick on post notifications to be there for that and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video see you later